Hey people, how's it going? This is Impal100 and we are back on our single player world today. Thanks so much for tuning in. In the last episode, we started on our new home. And I gotta say, I love the color palette here. It seems like a lot of you guys also uh, enjoyed uh, the finished product here. Not the finished product, but what we were able to accomplish in the last episode. Um, off camera, what did I do? Well, I chopped lots of logs. I gathered lots of clay. Just that sort of stuff here, because now we know our block palette for the most part, and we just need to continue to expand upon this area here. I also thought through it a bit more and made some minor changes to shape here. As you can see, the dirt has changed. So I decided I wanted to experiment with a tower up in this area. So we kind of have like a little uh, five by five with the corners cut off and three by three in the interior for the tower. And that could be our means of getting to the second floor of this home here. And then over here, this little divot is a fireplace so we're going to put a little fireplace with a chimney uh, going up on this side here and then i also wanted to expand the back here by a few more blocks as much as i could squeeze uh, this corner is going to be interesting to deal with and uh, we'll try to come up with something that makes it look good but anyways yeah this is just a way for us to give a lot more interesting of a shape instead of a box type shape here which is what i usually uh, do so having some time to think through the build before you just build an autopilot is a good thing. You don't need to get it all done in one day. So without further ado, I do want to get started here. I want to see how high we want to make this tower height. And we're going to have to do some water bucket to get down here. I think a good rule that I want to go with here is I want to double this height with the wood. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think 14 is going to be our height. We're going to go up 14 blocks, and then that's where our tower's apex is going to be. And then as far as everything else here, um, the it's not going to get close to the tower's actual height. So... I think that's what I want to start out doing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take the corners here and we're going to focus on the tower first. I want it to be a different material or not a different material, but not the, uh, what is it? The actual house material. If you get what I'm saying, I think I'm going to stick with uh, Oak and then as well as that, uh, in the middle of the Oak, I think I want to go with birch planks. So I'm going to go ahead and go up 14 blocks here. Okay. We're up 14. Let's see how good we are at this water bucket then. Oh, we almost died. <laughs> We're not good at that. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to build up all the other sides too. All at the same time. And we'll just do one big uh, splash when we go down. I think we're going to run out of logs. Oh my gosh. We didn't prepare enough. I could have sworn we had just enough here, but no, we're going to have to do another uh, little bit of oak harvesting here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we still have a few more uh, to go here, and this would have been a smarter way to go down. I should have just did this, but okay. How is this looking as far as height-wise goes? I think that's a solid height here, and then in the middle, like I said, I want to fill this in with birch. And I think I want to leave this gap for a window here. But then on the other sides, we don't need to do that. It just doesn't make sense. Perfect. So just like this, we go up by a few blocks. And you have gaps in there for windows up top. Maybe we could try to... That's still TBD. I just want to get the shape down real quick. Uh, but again, we'll have a little... Uh, like, like a, what is it, a snow cone on top? Like that sort of uh, that sort of roof design to go on top of the tower here. And then along the sides right here is going to be similar to what we did here. So I'm going to go and tend to our oak tree patch there. It looks like it's all grown up. So we're going to go there, harvest some logs, and we'll get to finishing this tower here. So... I'm not sold on this block palette here. 
it seems a little too dark but i'm gonna press pause on the tower here we know that that's the height we want it's not a bad height at all we'll put something up top add a few windows there but i want to focus on how the other part of the build looks with it to determine what blocks we should replace this with or maybe it looks great after all so i went ahead and cooked up some bricks so i'm going to go in here and make this foundation level with up here right so it's going to be three tall so one two three and then we'll go around this edge here as well and throw that in so against the brick it doesn't look bad at all and i love how it's kind of recessed by one right here maybe we could even add in is a window gonna look good there it feels like we're cramming so i think we're gonna stick with the window being right here for now and i'm actually gonna punch this hole out here we don't need this okay so over here and by the way i have no idea what we're gonna do with this wall i think i want to get rid of this stone brick it's just kind of there right now um maybe we'll add the stone brick here around the uh, fireplace so i'm just gonna have it go around this way real quick and i'm gonna pull out our sleeping bag and just sleep up here because i'm lazy okay and then on top of this brick layer we have the two of birch right that's what we uh need and how high up was this going, by the way? We need this to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but it's actually going to be taller now that I think about it. We're going to have two layers here. So let's think about this for a second. I think the first floor starts or it ends right here. So I want four blocks on top of that. So I think we need to go up a total of nine blocks with the wood right here. So this is one, two, three four five six seven eight nine and then this is only going to go up by two. Oh, and we're just taking damage left and right here <laughs> but then on top of this is going to be where we add in our terracotta right so then terracotta there and then another roof going up like that oh my gosh this is the most detail i've ever thought of putting into a build <laughs> At least in a while. It's been a while since the gears have been turned in this much. Okay, we're going to try to water clutch again. Oh my gosh. We are failing right now. I did this on the Craftworks server from build height to the very bottom of the world. Um, so I do have that achievement. But for whatever reason, I can't deal with it right now. Okay, so that is a good shape right there, actually. So the height's looking perfect. So we're just gonna emulate that on the other end now. And now that I have this in the background here, this tower doesn't look as bad, uh, believe it or not. But I think we might still try out some other blocks, but it's not looking as bad as I thought it was looking. Uh, so we're gonna focus on the other side now. Uh, maybe add in a little bit of the roof. Yeah, we have some space to add in the roof. so. We'll just play with shapes right here and see how it turns out. Well, what do you think? Do you like it? I, I'll take that as a maybe. <laughs> All right, so it's been a lot of time. Uh, lots of uh, using coal. We are out of coal. <laughs> we, we went through stacks of coal with the terracotta choice here. Look at our reserves. We're gonna have to do some more mining and what am i down here for yes more stone so what took so long was that i needed to mess with dimensions here uh to make this even so i had to push back some walls by one uh, i changed this tower to be oak which is a good contrast with the birch because the birch is going to stick with the walls here so i think the oak planks uh, fits in with the palette again we already used it right there on the uh the wraparound deck and so we're just going to keep it on the tower here as far as everything else goes it's pretty simple we have the base of our chimney here but i'm going to mess with that a bit and then down here we're kind of pulling down the foundation like it's an actual foundation into the cliff here right so it's looking pretty awesome um to say the least if we look from this end right here the shape looks great we'll add a little tower up top and then when we go on in here we'll go down by one and it's going to be nice and wide open 
I think how we're going to have the upstairs go, and we'll plan that out in a bit. This is where the next layer is going to be here, and we're actually out of spruce. We turned it into uh, charcoal, so we're going to have to chop some more down there. But I think at that level, it'll start. So then out, uh, what is it? At that Y level right there, we're going to punch out two, two holes right there. And that's where the second story will start. So we'll have a little, and it's going to be wide open here, by the way. So this is going to be our fireplace going up and around it, we're just going to have like an open concept walkway up there. And then also uh, you guys had some ideas for the uh, attic here. So we're going to do the same uh, for the attic, kind of have it pull into that way. But then other than that, it's going to be wide open over here. I want to use an interior wall block and we'll get to that in just a second. Let me actually sleep here before we get uh hoarded by zombies. But yeah, I had a pretty good idea for an interior wall block, so we'll get to use that in a second. It's something I've always wanted to do and just never have used uh, for an interior wall block here. But what I'm gonna do real quick is make some polished andesite stairs. And I want to see how this looks here. And we're actually gonna pull this down in just a second. Um, actually, first I want to finish up, uh, wait, no, we can't. Okay, we're gonna start at the base right here and then we'll work our way up again. So this is a pretty typical fireplace design that I use and then we will, what is it? How do we go up from here, right? Is it usually right here where I go up? I think this is where I typically go up, boom. And then up all the way. I think I'm gonna add one more to the base here. And now let's go up like this. And I don't like how blocky I made this, so I'm actually going to, yes, this is how we're designing this now. So we're gonna go in, perfect. This is gonna make it look a lot better. I was wondering what I was doing. I'm like, this looks like a funky fireplace. Well, it's because I made it look like a block. <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. It's more of an ellipse shape now, which we can't go back in this way anymore. So we'll just go around this way. But yeah, here is our fireplace shape going all the way up. And now this is where I will add these ladders in again and climb around this thing. Because up here, I need to see what a good height is to take this fireplace to. So, I think this is a good height right there so it doesn't eclipse our tower. Let's double check on this side over here. We won't be seeing it a whole lot, but it's just an added detail. Yeah, I think that's a perfect height. Uh, for the chimney here. We're gonna replace it with stairs up top. I'm gonna just use the polished andesite stairs to kind of uh, uh, mix it up a bit. And then also, I want to change all the stone brick here to polished andesite as well. Just like so. Because I want to add some detail to the outside here as well. So it looks good. Okay. So we're gonna fix up the top here real quick of the chimney, and then I wanna talk more about these interior walls that we're about to place. Oh no, I goofed, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, sometimes I hate myself, okay. Okay, Boo Boo is fixed. We will worry about all the other detailing here later, um, but we do have our fireplace here for now, and this is actually bothering me a bit still. I think we might pull it all up with andesite all the way. I don't know. We'll keep it like that for now, but I might end up switching it again, unfortunately. All right, we're done procrastinating. We're going down into our storage. So we found a very valuable resource. Oh no, we can't use it yet. Oh my gosh. So I was gonna say, hey, let's use mushroom blocks. Uh, where's the mushrooms at? But we can't use it because we don't have silk touch. Oh, Lordy, we can use white concrete. We can use that. Um, I'm going to stick for now. I'm actually pretty sold on using 
mushroom blocks, but we just need to make that upgrade once we have silk touch. So for now, I think we're going to stick with birch planks as the interior wall. Wow. All that build up for nothing. <laughs> I was like, guys, we have revolutionized the game here. Um, but again, we could always upgrade the house here with anything we see fit, right? So we're going to take birch going all the way up. Uh, for the interior walls here and then I'm gonna have to get some more spruce to complete the floor here and then also create the second floor uh, area here so I'm gonna do all of that and you're gonna see a, a pretty decent chunk of transformation by the next clip oh my gosh I think I'm in love <laughs> this is this is just beautiful um so Lots has happened here. I poked some windows here and I figured at this stage, I'd probably share with you what's going on. Um, but the main transformation has happened indoors here. So we now have a second floor. So right here, as you can see, we have a little trim of spruce stairs, which took forever to harvest, believe it or not. And then on top of that, we have some slabs in the middle. And then here is where everything is looking different. As you can see, we're doing the same thing with the spruce around the edge there, and then also some trap doors as railings. And if we go in here, we have three different levels to this tower now. Uh, and I don't know what we'll put up here, but we'll put something, I guess. I don't know. We'll make use of it. Maybe workstations up here. We're just going to have to squeeze in workstations where we can. And then over here is where our bedroom's going to be, and I want to have a walkout balcony here. So, and then over here, um, we'll probably cram some more workstations in here um, or make this an exploration area, which was a suggestion from Reddit. Reddick, <laughs> still mispronouncing your name, bud. Um, but yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we will end up adding workstations here because we really, uh, what is it? We kind of took up the space with the fireplace here. Now I want to see how we can how wide is this one two three four five six seven so i think we're going to have a little exit for a balcony right around here so we'll have these three open and then on the sides here we can have some windows right so one set of windows right here and then i think another one could be right here. Does this, oh, and there goes our pickaxe, son of a gun. Um, Without dying from a creeper, how does the two window look, look on this side? A little weird, a little weird. I think we need to make ourselves a new pickaxe here and then condense it to one long window. But as far as the other side goes, I want to sleep first and see how that looks because we're mainly going to be down there, at least for the time being, unless we start expanding that way a lot. So let's see how that window looks down here. The sight lines are amazing, by the way. So we're going to eat and we're going to make ourselves a new pickaxe in our temporary shelter. Yeah, you can't even tell that that window's there. Oh my gosh. Let's go back to this sight line all the way. Look behind my head. It looks so epic. So even from our fishing shack, it gets even better because you could see the little lightning rod poking up on the tower there and it looks awesome. Okay. Yeah. So this looks incredible. Um, yeah. The next step here is to really throw in this balcony. This horse will never stop partying. Master Ugwe. Okay. Right. As I said it, he is always spinning. I don't even record it anymore. It happens so much. It's just quite the, quite the character there. Um, but yeah, I guess what we need to do next here is smelt up some glass and then uh, make this little walk out uh, patio here. And I think I'm going to slant it out like with some supports. I don't want supports going straight down. I want it coming from the house. So kind of make a little, uh, what is it, a right triangle right here uh, with supports. And it should look pretty awesome. And maybe it doesn't go out too far. Maybe it's just a few blocks, so it's not so crazy, right? So just a few blocks, two blocks out, and I think it's going to make a big difference. So we're going to smelt up some glass here. We're going to do that, and hopefully it turns out looking awesome. Hello, friends. 
I actually need some string. Thank you so much for visiting. I guess no string from you. How about you? Uh, just a spider eye. Okay, we'll take it. Apparently, you could breed up armadillos with spider eyes. Did not know that. So, anyways, we have windows put in. Let's take a look in here. So, we actually poked out a few more windows here. We have a window here in our future storage room with just a beautiful shot over there. If we go up one more layer, you could see we actually have a little sky roof right here. Or sky window right there to let some daylight in. And then two big windows on both sides. Looking beautiful. Oops. Oh! Here's our patio that we did. Our little deck. Or hanging deck. And we could hang out here. Look at that. You kind of get a, an angle of it. Oh, there's my face. It looks awesome. Again, utilizing some more copper up here. Ooh, that is oxidizing. It's almost fully oxidized over there. At least one block. But yeah, look at this. Windows on this side too. And then all the way up here, the windows are put in. Creepers, look at that. And this beautiful music is playing as well. So we have uh, a full exterior complete. Um, well, not all the little details are in yet. We still are going to detail the place here. Uh, but it is a useful structure here. Look at this. So we've been spending lots of time doing this here. Um, typically, I'd end off the episode around, you know, recording two hours, which I've been recording two and a half, three hours already. <laughs> Just derping around here. Um, but what I actually want to do real quick is kind of connect this area up from the patio. I want to make a staircase down all the way uh, to get to our main area. And I know that we eventually need to connect from this way too, but I also want to weigh up maybe on this side, like right up here. So have it veer off this way and we can work our way up to a central point to where the pathways merge from there and there. And then it goes right on into here. So something I think right along this line here pathways can merge right here okay so that's the uh next project here so i'm gonna enjoy the beautiful minecraft music here and uh get to connect in our house up So we have time warped a little bit. I had to take a break, but we're back. And we just jumped down. We're just going to get right into this. <laughs> so uh, we did lay out some pathways here. So we have a pathway on this side right here that kind of goes around the edge. We did lots of uh, terraforming here. And then we also have one going up here. And then in the middle here, I have no idea what we're going to put in this pocket of space. Maybe a few trees or something else. I don't know. Oh, we also did a few more things here. We added a little window covers here, I guess. I don't know. It looks good. It was looking kind of bare here. So uh, we'll focus more on details either in the next episode or a few episodes from now, like really detail in this place and and make it look a lot more permanent. Anyways, yeah, here's the uh, stairwell that we kind of made. We uh, manufactured a ridge line a bit here. I think there's a lot more terraforming to be done on this hill eventually. It's just very tiring to have to make a zillion stone shovels here. But yeah, uh, we went ahead and terraformed this up and it's looking great. And this is going to look epic when we have this pathway go around this ridge line here and then we finish this bridge. And that's something we need to do soon. That's what we did here. It took like an hour. <laughs> it was a lot. Um, but it wasn't only uh, this path making that took an hour. It was also moving up our workstations from our base 
So we have a little furnace corner here. And we also made a ton of chests here. I didn't realize how many chests this is going to be. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times four. 32 double chests, which we're pretty set for a while here. This could be 64 double chests just in this area. Um, so very, very adequate storage. So I don't know how we're going to organize it yet, but this is very great storage given the space. And if we go up, we have our bed over here in a little corner. Our spawn is already set, which is great. And then on this side here, we have a little map making area. Again, this is our exploration map that we've already used once. And a blue banner hanging, I don't know. Uh, again, it's all a work in progress here. I'm a little based out. Um, the last thing I want to do is just move all of our stuff up here and try to at least get some organization with our chests because I want this to be our home uh, by the time we sign off today. So that's the last step. If we go down here, we have how many double chests worth of stuff? Five? It's really not that bad. And the composter here... Um, we could keep it down here for now. We don't need to move it up. All these pillager uh, banners here. We'll just keep them down here. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with this area. This is another mystery. So if you, if you all have suggestions, please let me know. But without further ado, I'm going to transport all of our stuff here. With the magic of breaking... <laughs> breaking uh, boxes. And I will get back to you in just a second. Okay, we are 100% moved in. All of our stuff from our temporary shelter is now moved up here. We have some organization that will likely change. So we have our passive mob drops here, plus some fishing stuff, eggs, all that sorts of stuff. Uh, hostile mob drops. Then we have our tools. And then combat items. Uh, we have our ores. Which, by the way, charcoal. We're completely out of coal. I already mentioned it. It's not a joke. This is all the coal to our name. I guess we have two stacks in the mine. Never mind. We have two stacks down in the mine. Uh, but we still need to get some more here. Iron, we still have a stack of... We're doing good. Um, we could actually take these copper blocks here. There we go. Okay, we're richer than it looks like. But, yeah. We have a lot to do. <laughs> We have two emeralds to our name, and then this is supposed to be like a rare chest right here, but there's some fishing crap with the tripwire hook. Um, I guess this could go in the utilities chest, but I do need to make a redstone chest eventually once we get more of that. And then on this side, we have, uh, what is it, like flowers and decor, that sort of stuff. Um, we need to add this. We need to start farming these, and then we're going to add it to our windmill storage. So it's just here temporarily. And then the wheat seeds, I could actually compost that. We don't need those. Uh, up here, let me take that out. This is supposed to be all the wood building products. And logs go up in here. So logs, wood building products. Uh, this is going to be like all the diable, quote unquote, uh, building blocks. So glass, wool terracotta concrete over here's all the other building blocks like bricks uh, mud bricks copper building blocks that sorts of stuff and then stone building blocks down here and then here it's pretty self-explanatory you have your dirt uh, sand and other stuff like mud gravel cobblestone and then down here is all the other uh, random miscellaneous uh, blocks that you could mine up so with that being said, we are done. We are done here. We're going to make our way down to the enchanted forest or the not so enchanted forest. It's going to be enchanted very soon, but I will meet you down at the forest and we will pick out a single comment to show. Okay. So this comment was made by Louie Nasty. Louie Nasty, I think is how I say it. If I'm wrong again, please correct me. Um, but Louie said, I loved watching this video, man. It felt so authentic, like watching a friend build their base. And that made my day. So thank you so much for commenting that. Um, 
again, I, I really am. That's the goal of this series here as compared to other stuff I made. This is very laid back, minimalistic, and really just focusing on taking the game at a slow place and playing it just like you would with yourself, your friends, anything like that. So really just trying to immerse people uh, into this world here. So thank you so much for that comment. That means the world to me. Oh my gosh, the sun is setting and that is just a beautiful sight. We did that today. That's definitely something to be proud of. Um, it's a very unique looking build compared to what I'd normally make. So again, <laughs> keep that in mind. And we really took our time and it shows this effort here and, and really thinking through the shapes and how to make it look. It's just a very interesting looking build and it's very functional as well, especially with all that storage we were able to do. And go Master Ugwe, go! Do your dance, Master Ugwe, do your dance! Okay, I ruined the vibe here. <laughs> we're gonna get the heck out of here. Thank you so much for watching another episode on our single player world. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like written down below. It really does help out the channel. If you hated the video, leave a dislike, tell me why. Anyways, this has been Impala 100, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care for now.